Do you have a favorite app? Do we have? Yes, I have loads. My favorite one is the little uh, Miss Spider's Tea Party, would you believe? <laughs> <laughs> it's for primary schools and it's so cute. <laughs> I'm Ashling and I'm a primary school teacher and my favourite piece of software that I use is Google Maps and creating maps, editing them and using Street View and creating interactive maps. And yourself? My name is Maura O'Keefe and I'm a primary school teacher as well. And, um, I'm new, I, I suppose I've used Smartboard, but I'm new to the online learning and as blogging is the big thing I think for me. But, um, kids started blogging this year and it just took off. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm Laura, Laura Dargan. I work here at LIT. I work in the business department, so technology is um, a bit of a distance for me to stretch. Um, but the things that I enjoy most at the minute um, are at Mondo. Um, so I'm involved in Kona Dojo uh, and small kids, and I find that they are really using that space very well. I'm just trying to catch up with them. Um, to give them that kind of space and to, to fill it with material for them to use. Uh, if you were to ask me what the kids are enjoying, um, Scratch is hugely popular. Okay, hi, my name is Kieran. I work in LIT here in Curtis as well. I work in the development area, um, so I'm involved in a lot of European projects and uh, things like that, where um, the whole technology area, of course, is very important. However, I'm not a technical person myself, um, but I do use um, a variety of the more common apps. In a new app that I, it's only a tiny little thing, but that I really find useful is Next Train, a small little, a small little app that tells you what is the next train that's going from the station. And I find that really useful in a very busy life, because I don't miss my train. Okay, I'm David Gormley, and my most groundbreaking app is Vine. Um, I'm Ruth McMahon and I'm from Hard School Winner in Ballon de Slow. Um, so the app I use is called I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's um, Ida Seo. It's this one here. So it's quite good. Um, I haven't done much with it yet, but basically um, you can add in your class. Oh, I better not show that. You can add in your class so you have all your students in it. You can set up uh, your timetable online. You can also put input the grades. Um, now I want to show. And tell me, what's it called? It's called I Sail. Okay. So, for example, I think this is a sample class they've set up. But basically, as well, what you can do is you can put in their seating plan. So I don't know who any of these people are, but okay. you can put in their seating plan, and you can move the kids around in the class. I change rooms, so um, for example, you can put like three in the middle or something like that. Um, I change rooms, so you can put up to five different seating plans in it. So I find that very handy. And then you can put input all their grades. And um, you also have uh, a set. Uh, you can put in your lesson plans. Now I can't quite remember so where that is. Lesson plans, timetables. Yeah. Lesson plans, your own timetable. It's like a mini grade book, um, just on your iPad. So instead of carrying around the great book, you've got it all there. And just say it to the camera, what's the name of it again? It's called, um, I think it's i.seo or maybe i.co, I'm not quite sure. But that's, that's the app anyway, so it's quite good.